Hey everybody, this is Games Plus James, and welcome back to another Unity Tips and Tricks video. So, in this episode, we're going to take a, add, adding a little sound effect that will play when your when your uh, code is finished compiling. Basically, it's it's a bit annoying having to be looking down in the corner here the whole time when you've got code compiling. And if like me, uh, so say if I just create a little script here, uh, we'll just call it whatever and once it's added in it starts compiling down here in the corner so you have to sit there watch it wait for it to compile and then be done but if like me um sometimes you could have a lot of stuff compiling that might take a little while what i would often be doing is let my code compile i'll do something else and i'll come back to it when it's done but it's annoying that if you want your code to be compiling you have to sit there and you have to check down here the whole time to let it know when you're done so we're going to add a little sound effect that'll play once the code finishes compiling and we can be uh, doing other stuff and then we know when our code is all finished uh, compiling so uh, with uh, in the linked down below the video here there'll be two little uh, objects we'll have a, a little sound effect and I've got the script that we're going to use for our compiler here but there's certain places we have to place these to be able to work within the unity editor so if we go back into our uh, project that we have here and this will work in any project but if you want to use it it's something that you'll have to do for each individual project there's no way to keep this kind of permanently uh, part of your unity uh, but what we need to do is create two folders we need to create a folder called resources and a folder called editor and these are two default folders that can be worked with in unity for uh, for you to be able to do so. So our, the editor folder, you can place scripts in here that can make changes to the editor itself so you can add extra uh, things into Unity that you might want to use. Uh, and the resources folder is a folder that if you place files in here, Unity knows to be able to load those files. So you're able to place any other files that you want to load into the game at very, or into your games at various different stages you can place them in the resources folder here and they'll load up nice and handy so what we can do is we can paste our audio file in here so we have this compiled sound effect here which if i just play it it's just a simple little audio sound of when you're done you can obviously use whatever audio file you want to use as well so that's one of the advantages of doing this and um, so what we'll do is create a script in our editor and it'll be able to load from the resources folder here the audio sound effect that we want to use. So we're going to go into our editor and we're going to create a new C sharp script that we're going to call compiled sound. And then we'll open this up in mono develop here. So we'll just let that load. And while that's loading, I'm just going to open up over here the editor script file that will, like I said, will be included down below the video. And this file is basically just uh, what we're going to use. I'm just going to copy all of this and we'll go through it just quickly rather than typing out the whole file because uh, scripting for the editor is a little bit different to scripting for your own games and stuff like that. There's different kind of ways of doing things. So rather than go into how to do all that, we'll just paste it in here uh, and see how it works. So I'm just going to highlight all of this and delete it and paste in a new bit of code that we have. So we have the kind of basic default stuff up here, and then we have our, our, our class that we're creating, our compile sound class. Uh, I'll just step through it here, like I said, and we'll kind of see uh, how it's basically working. So there's this uh, compile state press key. This is basically just what's using to say, we're using within the script here to say, okay, is the script currently compiling or is it finished compiling? Uh, we'll see that as we go through here. This is the audio clip that we're going to use to play when we finish compiling. So the first thing it does is it checks when it applies this effect when the uh, editor is updating. So when it's on the update loop, basically, of the editor, we've got our compile clip here. And this is what loads in the sound effect. So that the editor knows what sound to play. And as you can see here, we've got audio file name. And this is the name we want to use for whatever file we want to play. So if we go into our resources folder, we've got our compiled sound effect here, but this could equally be called anything. We could call this, um, we'll just change it to say compiled sound for now. So see, I, I accidentally put in a random capital letter there, but we'll just keep that. So what we'll do is just highlight, copy the name, and we're going to uh, go back into Monodevelop and 
we place it in where we have audio file name and we want to make sure that we have the same capitalization and all that stuff the exact same in here so now we have our sound effect that we're using we have our little update loop here which just all it does is say um, it sets if it was compiling and if it is compiling and it just checks if if it's if it was compiling and it's now no longer is compiling that means we're going to call this function here so basically we're saying it was compil compiling on the last loop but on the current loop it's no longer compiling so that means we know we're done so we're going to call this little function here and then down here this function is what plays our little clip and obviously it's not playing a sound effect the exact same way as we normally would within our kind of games normally we'd have our audio source dot play it would be nice and straightforward but because it's coming from the editor it's a little bit different and that's basically what this whole little chunk of code here does it just plays the sound effect for us and then finally at the end of our loop it just has our we're setting the compile state press key based on whether we're currently compiling or not so that's how we know at the start of the next loop were we compiling on the previous loop so it's it's a relatively simple bit of code relatively straightforward but if we save this and pop back into unity we'll see our little compiler sound there Hmm, it seems to have not played my sound effect for some reason, um, which is very strange. So what I'll do is I'll just create a new script that can just create a new blank script just to test. And once I've finished compiling, there we go, we get our little sound effect. So it just didn't work the very first time it compiled the script for us. but. Now it works, we've added a new little script, it's compiled, we heard a little sound effect. If we go ahead and make any changes to this script in our editor here, so we'll just add in our start function, we'll just add a simple debug.log sound, whatever. We won't actually see this unless we play our game, so it doesn't really matter. But we save that, we go back in here, and once it finishes compiling, there we go we get a nice little sound effect so it's a handy and simple little way of just another little way of notifying you when your compiler script is done now as I said you can use whatever uh, fi whatever sound file you want to use uh, when your compiler finishes um, compiling the scripts basically uh, and you're free to use them but the only thing to remember is of course that you make sure and change the name in here to the exact same sound effect that you use so there you go Another simple little trick and a handy little one to be used within Unity. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Thanks for watching this episode and if you want to learn more about developing your own games, you can follow the link on screen to my complete 2D platformer game development course on Udemy, where you will learn how to program and build a complete game in Unity 2D with multiple levels, enemies and unique boss battles. So click the link on screen or in the description below and get the course today.